Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and today I'm just going to be playing with a few things. A little while ago, I was watching a YouTube channel called Ruby and Pearl, and they made these little house journal covers. And then on Facebook, I've been seeing a few people doing that, making different sorts of things. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Do my own version of whatever it is that they've done. I don't know if they're meant to be journal covers or not, but I thought, you know, just an embellishment or even a page for your journal it could go in as. It doesn't really have to be a cover. And in fact, mine will probably be too little to be a cover. I just wanted to give the concept a go, really. So I'm starting off with a bit of paper. Just putting that down and then I'm going to add some things on top. So that's just like the base piece. And this is what I made ages ago, this little door. So I thought maybe that'd be cute. I could do the little opening there. And I want to put a peak on it. So where's the ruler here? Just grab my ruler. And a pencil. And see how wide it is. Probably about four inches. Yep, that's four inches. Just a bit of spare manila card that I had. And then I'm going to come down two inches from the edges because I thought that way I'd get a peak in the center. I think two inches will be fine. So if I start with this as the doorway, put that down there. That's pretty good. It's just come perfectly where I want it to be, hasn't it? Yeah, they're quite good. So when you open it up, they're going to be greeting you in the doorway. I think the paper dolls are the most useful thing for me personally that Tim Holtz has ever bought out. I use them in everything, in all sorts of situations, and I just love them. Now, what I've got is some of this fabric which is the selvage fabric. I thought that might look quite cute if I kind of put it up on the top there. I think I'm going to put something on the back of these though. And also, I'm probably going to do, like, I want to do a chimney. I think that most houses, well, not here, but I think, you know, from the pleasing of the eye, it looks nicer when there's actually a chimney on it. So probably just a little chimney down here. I'm wondering if I need to put a piece here as well to kind of define the roof. What do you think? Hmm, I think that I do. So I hope you think I need to do that too because I'm doing it anyway. Actually, because I've ruined that, I'm going to start the doors again. So let's just slice them off. For so some reason, I couldn't cut that straight, so that was a bit silly really, wasn't it? Okay. They can go in the bin, those doors, because they're just no good anymore. I might stick this under here as a bit of a faux chimney as well. Yep, that's much better. I'm really changing my mind today. But I think if it's not working, or you don't like something, you need to just redo it. So let's pop this down where that chimney piece was. Push it up so it looks like a bit of a chimney. I want the red side now to turn it over. And you know what? I'm not sure I even want the doors back again. I quite like it just with the little girls sticking out there. So my alternative is a button. Which I've just got a black button. Not my usual white ones, I found a black one and put it there. And there you go. What I want to do is I want to put the slide in the actual tag. 
And this is one of the ones that I made yesterday. So I thought if I pop this on here, and then I can make another one on the other side. I had some of them, but I put them into an order today, so I can't, I can't uh, use them because I've already used them. I'll put the tag down the bottom here. Let me just draw around that so I know where to cut it. I know I'm cutting through the architecture of the door somewhat down the bottom here. I'm hoping it won't matter because I like the doors and how they look. And you've got this little tag that's got the hole in it. So you can put it down in a journal over the top of something. And then when you pull that up, you'll have whatever it is showing. Now with this one, I'm actually going to use the reverse side of the doors. And then with this, I'm going to put this door down at the bottom here. So just using the whole door. What I'm going to do is put one window there. Maybe I'll put one window up here. In fact, I'm going to change my mind completely. I'm going to bring that peak down to here and then have like an attic window up the top and nothing else. So I need to work out where this is going to go. In fact, I'm going to put it down first and that way I'll know exactly where it has to go. Got this little, little window up there. And I'd really like something on each side of it. I don't like that one as much, but I think I'll just leave that and then I can come back to it later. It's just not quite working for me, so it's probably best to give up. I like the concept. I like having the window in the attic space. I think I put the window too high. If I brought the window down, it would probably look a lot better. But I'm not sure I'm going to get that off and do that now, but one can always try. Actually, I'm not going to take that off at all. What I'm going to do is, more plans, I'm going to take a piece of card or actually I will find something in here that's going to go in here. Let's just piece this together. Okay, I found something. Okay, I'm still thinking about this, whether or not I'm going to change this, but for now, I think that's plenty. And I think what I'll do is just sit with that a while. So I've made a few things today and that's good. It's always nice to do some crafting. I've been extremely busy this morning, getting lots of things packed up and cleaned up. And it's, um, it's a busy time at the moment for us as a family we've got a lot of sorting out to do and getting things organized so keeping us all on our toes it is at the moment so that's it i think i'm done for the day and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow this is deborah cheers